What is up guys? It is Zane here and today we're gonna be testing out the Melody Sauce 2 plugin, so let's just go. So you just click around. Oh damn. Harmonize button. So that one we already got a chord going on. You can easily change the key. Speed tempo. We can make it a short loop or long loop. I'm definitely trying to have a longer loop. I don't like the xylophone sounds though. Oh, hold up. Guitar. I'm not really trying to use this as a synthesizer because it's really not super deep, but hold up for the rhythms. This is actually nice. We're going to change this tempo though. I want to go all the way down. Damn, I don't really like happy sounds. We can change the octave so we can go lower, that's better. Triplet, I don't even know what these musical terms are. It's going a little too fast though. Oh, it's quite happy sounding though. Damn, you guys hear this shit right now? So now we got our first synergy combo. We got the melody with the scaler. So we got some chords that are depressing and we're going to go to melody sauce. It's off key though, so we're going to adjust it down here. All right, now we're synced up hopefully with the chords. Okay, it kind of works. It's way too happy, this one. What the hell? I kind of like it though. You guys can see the power in it though, like... We even got a bass mode, let's see. Turn off the harmonize, cause I don't wanna make a chord out of it. We'll go in a lower octave. Hey, okay. Maybe for this one though, that's when you go in the style mode. And now we're just in one thing. And boom, we got a nice little bass. We can change the chord adjust. So basically, I need to link this to an instrument right now. So for the melody sauce, you just need to put it to the output one. And then for vital, you gotta put it to the input or whatever synth you got. And then when we press it again, you're not gonna hear it because we gotta enable it in the MIDI output. And now it's connected to our synth and we got this like crazy you can pretty much make a melody with any sound that you like now. So it's really powerful. This is like the next level of optimization with your plugins here. Damn. Okay guys, I just discovered all the secrets of this plugin. So it's basically a little grid here and depending on where you click, it's gonna like choose. So this knob right here, so depending on where you click is the complexity and like the tone of the melody basically. So if we click here, complex and all, we're gonna have all these different types of factors inside. Syncopation is whether it's gonna be off beat or not, or if it's gonna stay on track. So you can kind of see how it flip flopped right there. Dark mode is kind of where I'm trying to stay on. You can go simple. So now you know how to go like from slow to like super mixed or you can go complex fast right now. There we go. Change the octave down. Beautiful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's definitely very powerful in what it can do. I mean, it's very quick to just edit what you want and there's a lot of intention in it. It's not as customizable as I was hoping, like even for the legato, you can't really change the smoothness as far as I know. But at the end of the day, you're just trying to make melodies. This is super good for just getting them down quick and you can get pretty much anything you want. And you can even link it to your own synthesizer or whatever you want and just go straight from there. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm literally developing a plugin right now, so if you're interested in that, let me know. And yeah, chase your dreams no matter what. I'm the best. Goodbye.